Andy Prepper here with a tabletop review of the new Schrade Extreme Tactical Survival Tomahawk. This is a full tang tomahawk that I saw I just had to pick up. Wicked looking head on this thing. Looks very functional overall. Reasonable weight, reasonable price. So, had to pick it up. Not that I don't already own too many tomahawks, but hey, you can never have too many. Let me give you the stats on this bad boy. 3CR13 stainless steel. So not the highest grade out there, but functional enough. It has a 3.4 inch cutting edge on it, 14 inch handle, and 17 inches overall. Weighs in just shy of two pounds overall, just a few ounces less than two pounds. So very reasonably weighted for a tomahawk. Um, looks like it's going to weigh a ton. It does not. It's got these flat grips on it that are K10, not G10. Now, I don't know exactly what a K10 grip is, but uh, seems to work real well. It's got shrade there on the side, uh, four rivets there, bolting it down, and of course the same on the other side, shrade as well. This is textured. You can't really see it. The camera's not doing a particularly good job of picking that up. There you go. Um, full tang, like I said, all the way down. You've got some texturing in here. I think this is more just for aesthetics or machining. I don't know. It uh, doesn't really seem to add to grip too much in my mind because this thing is flat. It does not protrude up. Wish this had a lanyard hole at the back side. That might be a nice addition. Does not. But, oh well. Like I said, comes quite sharp. It's very sharp, actually. The spike on the back is actually quite sharp compared to some other tomahawks I've seen where these spikes are quite dull. And another slight addition to this is what they call a shovel head to the top here. Now, I don't know if I'd call it a shovel exactly, but it's got a little bevel to it. If you can see that there. It's obviously got on the other side just the same. Still quite wide at that point, but it's not the full width of the axe head. So, or full width rather. But you could use that for prying and other type things, tactical entries, those type things. Uh, could you use it as a shovel? I don't know. It's awful flat, but that's what they call it, a shovel head. So, let's we'll see how that pans out. It's got a titanium coating on it. Very unassuming axe overall. Not a lot of markings or flash on it. There's the code right there if you can see it. SC Axe 3. So, seems to be a nice little axe. $47. Full tang. Cannot wait to play out in the woods with a full tang axe, but it's been raining here this whole weekend, so I've not gotten out and played. It does come with a sheath. The sheath is not particularly interesting. Basic ballistic nylon. Um, loop on the back. Slides in the top here. And you got your two snaps that go over. So, like the rest of these cool little frayed blades that are coming out and reasonably priced, they could spend a little bit more money on the sheath. So not real thrilled about that, but the axe, I like. I like this a lot. Cool little impulse buy. Couldn't help myself. I'm going to have to take this bad boy out and compare it to my M48 and my Cold Steel Tomahawks Trench Hawk because this one may just be superior to the rest of them. It certainly feels that way. Andy Prepper out.